someone might say, well, how does du'a change qadr if, if, if you know, it's already decreed, if it's already written down? How can du'a change my fortune? Quickly, there are different types of qadr. There are different types of decree. There is that which is written with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in al-lawh al-mahfuth, in the preserved tablet, where everything is taken into consideration. For example, you were supposed to live 80 years, you made dua, you did a good deed, so Allah will change your decree to 90 years. That's already taken into account in Lawh al-Mahfud. What would have happened is already written in Lawh al-Mahfud. As far as that which is with the angels, the records of the angels, that which is written on Laylatul Qadr, that which is written when you are in, in the womb of your mother, that which is written on a daily basis, Kulli yawmin huwa fi sha'n. Every single day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is planning and things are being written down by the malaika every single day. All of that can be changed and that's what Allah Azza wa Jal means when He says in the Qur'an, يَمْحُ اللَّهُ مَا يشاء, That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blots out what He wills and He confirms that which He wills. So your dua truly does affect qadr just the same way as your eating or your drinking would extend your lifespan for another day. Mm. Right? Dua is that vital. So yes, dua has that effect on your qadr. And Rasulullah says, nothing fights with qadr and changes qadr like dua and good deeds. And he said, and nothing extends the life like charity, like sadaqah. Okay? And so Imam al-Nawi rahimahullah said, we can derive from that as well, that sometimes there are people that were meant to live a longer time, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reduces their lifespan because of their sins. Your good deeds can be a means of extension of your life, and your bad deeds can be a means of cutting it short. So do not underestimate the power of your dua. Really, subhanAllah, we, we just released that video today talking about Gaza and talking about the things that go around the world. Your dua is the greatest tool of personal and societal change. It's the greatest tool that you have. So about dua, just one quick comment, inshaAllah. Just the, the ayat of Ramadan itself. In the ayat of Ramadan, إِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي فَرِيبُ أُجِيبُ دَعَوَةَ الدَّاعِي إِذَا دَعَانْ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُ لِي the, the famous ayah, I've talked a long time about this ayah, Whenever the slave asks, anybody asks, anybody who makes dua asks about me, then let them know. Then immediately Allah mentions, no doubt about it, I am near. But the part I wanted to highlight to you is, Ujibu da'wat al dai I respond to the call of any or every single one that makes the call at the very time that they make the call, meaning the response from Allah is coming immediately. But, but he did put a condition on that response. And he said, فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُونِ Then they better respond to me too. Meaning you're asking Allah for something, but the ayah says Allah is also asking you for something. So you don't just get to say, I will, Allah is not doing for me. When Allah gets to say, well, what have you even tried? You know, have you even tried? And the other thing there is Allah did not say, fal yujibu li, he said, fal yastajibu li. About himself, he said, ujibu. He didn't say, astajibu in the ayah, he said, ujibu da'wat al da'. But when in our time came, he said, fal yastajibu li. And there's a difference between these two. They both mean respond. But one of them is immediate and complete. And Allah is asking us to, for us to respond to him. He didn't say they should completely and absolutely respond to me in the most perfect way because we can't. So he put istijaba there. They should at least try to respond to me. At least put some effort in. Okay? Just, just give it some. Let's see some effort on your part. And then you can expect that du'as will be answered by Allah Azza wa May Allah make us of people who actually respond to the call that Allah is making on you and us and our families too. Amen.